NBC4's I-Team reporter Eric Leonard was nearby covering another story when he felt and heard the blast. Eric, walk us through what happened. Hey, Annabelle, we're here at near the Skid Row area, just north of 7th Street near Central Avenue in downtown L.A. You can see behind me, L.A. City firefighters have been working for more than an hour to put out what appears to be a, a stubborn industrial-type fire in a vacant building. Uh, the first calls of smoke in the area sent firefighters to this building, which uh, appears to be vacant. Uh, it looked like whatever business was there uh, has not been open in a while, and firefighters got on scene. They immediately reported they saw lots of fire coming out of the building, including some fire through the roof. Uh, L.A. City Fire spokesman Eric Scott picks it up from there. Upon our arrival was well involved in flame that you can see is currently burning through the roof. Uh, bystanders, even yourself, people that were nearby had uh, stated there was explosions. We're describing it as multiple explosions and significant uh, balls of fire uh, well into the air. So firefighters quickly arrived on scene. Now, I was a few blocks away working on a completely unrelated story. I saw the smoke, heard the first explosion, and by the time I turned around, I saw and felt the second and third. Huge fireballs were going up into the sky. It looked like something out of a movie set, uh, and it was uh, tremendous. Like, you could feel the blast in your chest, and I was blocks away. So because of that, the fire department had to take a more defensive approach to this. They didn't want any firefighters up on the roof or inside the building for sure. That's why you see all these aerial ladders. They're just pouring water on this from the outside. In fact, the fire department said it's bringing out its giant tank-like robot, which can crawl into the building. It's remote controlled by firefighters. Start putting water on the interior without having to risk any firefighters' lives. As far as the cause go, it's way too soon to know, but the fire department says when firefighters were able to look into the building, they saw what looked like large metal cylinders, the kind that might hold pressurized gas or oxygen. They're speculating that was probably the cause of the explosion, but until all of the flames are put out and they're able to get inside, they just don't know. Live near Skid Row in downtown L.A., I'm investigative reporter Eric Leonard, NBC4 News. Annabelle, back to you.